talk about chess. Some of the world's greatest players gathering in London this week. Eight grandmasters competing in the so-called candidates tournament with the winner earning the right to challenge the world champion for his crown. Most of those top players would have learned the game at an early age. Mm. And now one charity is aiming to teach all children in one part of East London how to play chess. John Maguire is taking them on at one of the schools taking part. You're playing all those kids on your own. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not exactly a chess computer, I can tell you, Bill, you're talking about them learning to, to play chess, being taught to play chess. They're giving me quite a few lessons this morning, I must say. Aisha's just playing away here with Carly at the moment, a pretty tense game. Aisha, what do you like about the game of chess? Mm, it's really challenging and I enjoy it, playing it, um, versus <coughs> different people. Some are different and just getting to know how they play is okay. what I enjoy. Good stuff. And Alex and Emmanuel, is this game over? It was just, I heard somebody shout checkmate a second ago. Yeah. Have you just lost? No. Okay. And uh, how long have you been playing? For about, I don't know, about 10 minutes. What do you enjoy about it? I like, for this game, I just, first it was, when, it, when he said it was checkmate, <laughs> I was staring, I was looking, how was it checkmate? And then I saw, I thought it was checkmate. But then I just saw my queen. I can you, move it. You've challenged him. Yeah. Well done. OK, we'll let you guys carry on playing. They really are very impressive. Year five pupils here at Ravenscroft Primary School. Uh, ten years old, so they're very good. The test, of course, this morning, are you smarter than a ten-year-old? Let's find out more about the scheme to roll out chess. It's certainly across this borough. We'll talk first to, to Malcolm, to Malcolm Payne. Um, why chess? Well, it's so good for children. It's very good for their self-esteem, first of all, to beat adults, as we've seen this morning. <laughs> it helps them concentrate. It makes them plan ahead and take responsibility for their actions. If you make a bad move in chess, it's only your fault. And it improves children's concentration. Teachers say it's the quietest time of the week. Fantastic. Sabrina, you work with the children, teaching them the game. Uh, crucially here, it's not a chess club, as it were. It happens within uh, school time, within lesson time. Why is that important? Well, the children are, they see the, they see the um, chess club as like a lesson instead, so they're doing curriculum time. And um, this is different to any other usual curricula, extracurricular activities. It's doing actual during lesson time. So the children come out of their lessons and actually have a chess lesson. Um, they concentrate more, it helps their concentration. They, they're, they're loving the game. Um, the children here, what they, what they do is that some of them aren't as good at um, other activities, but they might excel at chess and it builds their confidence, builds their self-esteem and they love it. And, and do you find it's a struggle to compete with such a busy sort of life for children, playing sport, also playing video games? I know we always give video games a hard time. Well, that's what's great about having um, the lesson in curriculum time because um, the children, they have so many activities. They do after-school clubs, breakfast clubs. They have loads of football lessons after school and everything like that. So this gives them a chance to enjoy a game that's really important for their lives. All right, folks, thank you very much indeed. I'm just going to go back and take these guys on. I've learned one lesson already this morning, you know, Bill and Susanna. They've told me that knights on the rim are dim. So if you get your knight and you put him on the outside, which is my first move this morning, that apparently is a dull move. And the other thing... Think of chess a bit like Barcelona. It's all about occupying the midfield. If you've got your power and your best pieces in the midfield, then you've got a good chance of beating your opposite number, no matter how old they are. Yeah, head for the centre. Yeah. Thanks, John. John McGuire, good tips. The, the Lionel Messi of the chessboard. All right, thanks very much. <laughs> Still to come on breakfast.